Hi everyone, my name is Mukesh and I'm making this video to make you understand about Cisco Networking Academy. How do you activate the accounts on Cisco Networking Academy? And also, how do you browse the courses that are offered to you? Before we start this particular video, if you are wondering about why should I bother about Cisco Networking Academy and why am I going to watch this video? Let me tell you the main reason why we do this is for you to get some certifications. Once again, there might be a question saying that, see, do I really require certifications? Are they really essential? I'm having a good uh, certificate, either BTEC or some other bachelor's degree with a good CGPA. Do, do certifications help me in anything? The answer is yes. Certifications are essential. Simply say, certifications are something which validate the student's skills and knowledge and making them more attractive to employers. There is a simple analogy which I would like to discuss just for a minute or so. I was attending many conferences organized by Cisco in the past uh, few years. So in one conference, a, a speaker has spoken about a PISA, a compared a student's resume to a PISA and the certifications to toppings. Now, if you just have a bland PISA, just with uh, tomato sauce uh, attached to it, it's not valuable or it doesn't make it that interesting. But if you keep on adding different kinds of toppings to it, like cheese, mushroom, chicken, whatever you say. So these different types of toppings, when you put them on the pizza, it makes the pizza more valuable and more attractive. Similarly, if you are a student and if you add such certifications to your BTEC degree, it will add much more visibility for the employers and will give you a very good chance of securing a good job. Now, pursuing certifications always gives the student a significant advantage over their peers. With respect to achieving academic success, improved career uh, prospectives, and gaining high salary potential. Now, with this in mind, now if you understand the importance of certifications, why I should do it, the next step is to understand how Cisco NetAcad does help you in getting some of these certifications. There might be different uh, platforms uh, like Cisco NetAcad, Amazon AWS, Google Cloud, Palo Alto's Beacon. There are many platforms out there. I have been uh, engaged with the Cisco Networking Academy for the past eight years as an instructor for Cisco CCNA and CCNA CyberOps courses. So what I do is I start giving these courses starting at basic level from the first semester onwards so that the student slowly gets used to these courses and by the time they are ready to face their placements or job interviews, they do have good number of courses attached to their resumes or even for their, in the, for the sake, the LinkedIn profiles. Any employer can just look at their LinkedIn profile, see what the skills they learned. So Cisco NetAcad is a global IT skills and career building program currently serving in more than 190 countries and has got more than 20 million students benefiting from it. It was developed by the Cisco's CSR initiative. It offers a range of courses in various domains, including networking, security, IoT, programming, and even operating systems like Linux. Recently, they came out with cloud computing as well. All these courses are prepared in line with industry to enable the students prepare for industry recognized certifications or professional certifications such as CompTIA plus CCNA, NDG Linux, and there are many others. These certifications or these courses are going to equip the students with job-ready skills. They will have an edge over their peers when they go for uh, competitive things like placements. Usually, what I do is we kickstart our students with entry-level courses like Introduction to Cybersecurity, uh, C Programming, and Get Connected courses so that they can learn about the platform. They can get used with the Cisco Networking Academy's platform and slowly increase the level of complexity by adding CCNA, DevOps, CCNA, CyberOps, etc., etc., according to the requirements and also the industry uh, outlook or perspective of the industry, what they require or where the demand is currently right now. So this is how we enroll the students. And in this video, I'm going to show you as an instructor, once I enroll the students into the networking academy, how do you uh, get it activated 
and how can you browse the courses what are the steps that you need to perform in order to complete these courses and where can you showcase them to okay and as uh, an initiative or as a motivational thing i am also going to provide a free course on introduction to cyber security and a free course on get connected uh, through my description if you are not uh, from my college or if you don't know me also you can still get these courses by clicking on the uh, link I, which i am going to give in the description just go through it see i hope you will enjoy these courses so once you are enrolled into the cisco networking academy by the instructor the first thing you will be seeing is this particular welcome email sent to you by cisco net academy it says welcome to networking academy activate your account by any by a chance if you are already enrolled before earlier you might receive another mail saying that new course enrollment that means you already have an account for this email and a new course has been added to your account let me show you the steps what has to be done in order to create the account and also let me show you how you can browse the courses in cisco networking academy so let me click on this you can see that here that you have received an email from uh, Cisco NetAcad and there is a button which tells you activate account. So do click on that activate account and it will redirect you to the Cisco Networking Academy page where you have to provide your details and other information to verify whether you are genuine or not and then the account will be created and hence you can activate your account. So let me click on click here to proceed. So what is your password? You, you need to set up your password. Please remember that set up a very good password. Don't uh, uh, put easy passwords like uh, welcome or whatever it is. I'm just issuing a new password for myself. And there are some certain guidelines here. You need to you need to have those guidelines as well. You can see there are requirements here. You have to follow these requirements so that your password will be accepted. I'm just adding some random password and once you do that you have to click submit and if you do not uh, give the right password according to the requirements that means if you do not put capital letters or if you do not add uh, the characters etc it won't accept it okay so my I usually prefer uh, not saving any passwords on the websites so let me clear, click click Cisco networking academy here and then you can go so what is the email that you're given for the cisco networking academy this is the email i gave login and the password that you just set up so the password which you have given you have to enter it here so it will check whether the email registered or sent by the instructor and the password which you just set up right now or equal or not or the same or not and once it is okay it will authenticate you and then it will allow you to enter into this particular website now you see here you have to check uh, the names i just gave some random names and you have to verify whether the first name is your name last name is usually called by your family name whatever you type and whatever you confirm the details here will be given the will be given the same for your certificate generation also later on you may not be able to edit these details so please be careful before uh, proceeding on from this particular step okay you have to verify whether the names that you are given is exactly the same that you want on your certificate no uh, puppy names no pet names no spelling mistakes and you have to give a birthday give a birthday here i'm just giving you something random okay um, let me just okay and once you do this you have to say that Providing additional information, I, I agree to provide more information about myself and gender. I'm just sitting it here. Do you have any disability? No. What is your practical experience? I don't think most of the students do have practical experience in IT, cyber security, and other domains. And if you have anything, just mention it here. It doesn't create an impact or it doesn't have any effect. So it is up to you again. You would like to receive communications and updates about the program. If you like it, do click the checkbox here. Otherwise, just click on create account. Now let's see what happens now you see once you have done that it means that your net account your net account has been created and it also means that 
whatever courses you are going to learn from now onwards will be seen in this the page that you are about to see is called as your netacad portal in you might be doing tens uh, maybe 10 or 15 different courses all those courses are listed under here and you will be given a netacad id and if you are participating for cisco ideathon that is the cisco placement drive this particular networking academy id should be provided so that they can verify whether you have done the prerequisite courses or not okay so it has got a massive importance so please uh, understand what you are entering into and it says let's start learning and launch course okay now the first page as i told you what you will be seeing is the networking academy's course page but before i go here i'm just uh, okay let me do this first scriptor let me just explain to you what is this page how it looks like now this is your core this is your net acad portfolio or net acad page in which you can see that there is only one particular course here as of now it says the course name is introduction to security introduction to cyber security and you can see the networking academy name here we are siddhartha engineering college if you are enrolling into a course provided by some other academy it is also fine you can get that too okay now you can see here that there is only one course as of now and in order to log out you can you can come you can do uh, just move the cursor over here and you can see the logout button out and if you click logout it will you will be kicked out of this particular netacad account you will come out and there are other things which i would like to discuss so for as of instance let me show you how do you browse this particular course okay now before that most of the uh, times i see uh, the students are trying to do the same thing again and again from the email but no you need not do that just quickly let me show you i'm logging out of the account it says uh, signing out do not close the tab etc etc you may need to allow the pop-ups but fine now once you signed out what you need to do is if you want to enter into the networking academy or netacad website okay so it's got in and like this so login and because i saved it earlier it automatically logged me in now you have to go to netacad.com that is the website please do remember that netacad.com and once again you have to press into login i'll show you that here separately so netacad.com now if you see this is the original website because you are already logged in you can see over here now once you have logged in once you can simply click go to the course that you want to study click on the launch course button and that particular course page will open you can see these are all the links for how many chapters are there in this particular course what are the things that you need to cover everything is listed over here now this introduction to cyber security we call it as an exploratory course what it means is you can actually uh, do it uh, at any point of your time that means it's not an instructor led course you can take any time anything that you want or the exam you can study at your own convenience there is no particular uh, timeline or time schedule attached to this course so if you want to complete it within two days you can do it or maybe if you want to study it in complete one full day you can do it as well so if you come to the course browsing page you can see that launch chapter one la chapter one ethical quiz chapter one and launch chapter two if you want to study the course what all you need to do is you have to start from the first chapter so click on launch chapter one it will take to another page it might ask you to select a background or something like that just uh, take something random and this is where your learning starts so in this for this particular cyber security course you can start reading from here so chapter one the need for cyber security and once you do that you simply need to click on the next button to go now if you want to have if you are studied already chapter one and if you want to go to a particular one there are some certain buttons which are listed below you can select the course index page where you can see the entire list of courses or the list of contents in this particular course where you are and if you are if you want to see if you want to go here the security breach example go there click on it you can read that particular one so this is called as the course index or the video index there are many videos which cisco provides to you uh, regarding some of the topics where you can understand it much more clearer much more clearly okay see this is where you can go to the video index directly what are the videos that are provided in this particular course so this is how you access the course and read the course regarding getting the certificate and writing the exam each course has got its own type kind of requirements okay 
Now, if you see in this particular course, you can see there are quizzes at the end of each chapter. Regarding these quizzes, each quiz is uh, not mandatory. That means if you want to test yourself on the topics that you have learned in this particular chapter, you can do this quiz. Otherwise, you need not. Okay. Now, if you go down, the most important thing for Cisco NetAcad courses is are these two things the final exam and the end of course feedback. For any course in Cisco NetAcad, you have to complete the end of course feedback first. Only after the end of course feedback, you can attempt the final exam. Now, let me show you how to do the end of course feedback. You just click on the end of course feedback here. It will take you to the, uh, uh, the page or the assessment page. Now, you can see there is one small thing called as take assessment here. I hope you can see this, isn't it? So, the take assessment page here, you just click on that link on the take assessment and it will take you directly to the assessment. And you click on continue here and begin assessment. This is the same thing how you take your final exam also. The same steps are to be followed. Now, there are several questions and one other thing that I noticed uh, in the students is most of them after clicking on maybe let us say that I'm just doing it randomly and without clicking the next most of them accidentally click the submit button over here. There is a submit button here and some of them click on the submit button here without taking the entire exam. That is also possible. It will accept it but please refrain from doing so. So click on next and you can see that there are certain boxes here which it will show you how many things that you have assessed. I'm just uh, randomly pressing the answers for this okay so you have to enter all these things and click on next the blue color means that you have answered it you 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 attempted the question and you answered it green color is the one which you are watching it okay and if i just click on next without answering you can see it is still left as unanswered so this is the same that you can use for your final exam also because in your final exam if you have uh, mistakenly forgot a particular question to answer a particular question you can check in your uh, timeline here whether all the questions have been answered or not okay i'm just uh, clicking it so that i can show you how the final text link happens this particular feedback is mandatory for each and every course offered by cisco networking academy unless until you fill the feedback you will not be able to take the final exam it is the same for cyber security, it is the same for uh, uh, CCNA, cyber ops, DevOps, all these courses. Once you have done all the questions, please ensure that you click on the submit button. Then this will be, obviously it will ask you, are you okay, are you done everything, are you happy to submit it? Then click on submit. It will automatically be submitted. You can close this particular page and you can see that you can come here. If you want to go back to your original menu, you can simply click on this particular course name which is written over here. Now you can see you come scroll down see now you get the link for the final exam so only after completion of the course feedback you get the link for the final exam please do keep that in mind and once you take the final exam once you complete it you will be able to see get certificate option in your netacad page or in this page you will see a small button over here saying that get certificate where you can download your uh, certificates in pdf format at any point of time the certificates are all stored in this particular netacad portal itself and if you can see, if you click here, you can go to my profile. You can see your networking academy ID, which academy you are under for. You can see this is the most important one. If you are attending, these courses are very much helpful for you, even when you are going for MS also. I will show you how to access the Python and C programming courses once they are enrolled. Okay. As I was telling you, once new courses are added, you can see that you will receive an email about each and every course that has been added to your account. Here, uh, earlier I told you, if you are new to NetAcad, you will receive this email called as Welcome to Networking Academy. In the same way, if a new course is added, you will get course enrollment notification. Okay. Now, if you click on that, you will be seeing what all the courses that are added. You can see it says Programming Essentials in Python has been added to your account. And similarly, Programming Essentials in C has been added to your account. Now, if you are a student and if you want to see whether these courses have been actually added or not, the way that you have to verify it is go to netacad go to netacad.com and press enter as i told you once you go to netacad.com you should be seeing this is the landing page where you enter and use the same email id that you used before 
ac.ac.in and please do enter the same password that you created while activating this account that is very important please do not forget your passwords if you forget your password by a chance and if you don't know what to do simply click on the forget password and a reset link will be sent to the same email id that you used for your account creation and you do have to follow the steps in case if you forget your password and you can reset your password with a new one okay please do not forget the email id for which you have created the account as i said earlier create a professional email id you can see that earlier there is only one course which is your uh, introduction to cyber security but you can also see that there are a couple of other courses which are added into your portal now all of those things if these courses are active and if they are currently running you can see a small green colored one showing that these are in progress and if they are done if they are completed it means the time limit which is given by your instructor has been finished then you can see a red color button saying that complete ended okay so there are some of these things you need to keep in mind now let me start with the c course first if i added the programming essentials in c course to your account once again you go to need to click on the launch course both the c programming and python programming courses are third party courses are not called as offerings by cisco because these are in line with certifications offered by third parties ndg linux institute python institute ndg linux essentials all these things now here in order to start the course you got to first accept the first two terms which are given over here the first thing is terms and conditions accept to start the course if you are enrolled into the c programming the first thing you need to do is click on terms and conditions now it will take you to a page where they will ask you some details see open and open edg terms and conditions you just if you want you can go just go through this or simply click the button over here and click on submit it will automatically close after thing and you can see a green colored one saying that it is done similarly you have to submit the welcome survey just click on the welcome survey it will ask you maybe why did you enroll into the course you have any programming experience all those kind of things you just uh, click say yes 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 or maybe i don't uh, it doesn't matter just do it okay and once you do it you click on submit the survey is done so these two things are mandatory you should first complete them so that you can get access to the remainder of the course now you see here there are part 1 in c and there are part 2 intermediate so for the particular c course what you need to do is you have to complete it part by part or step by step okay first you need to do the uh, module 0 you can and then module 1 these are all marked as done you can do it yourself okay module 1 test you, unless until you pass you won't get a grade or you won't get a green color tick mark so these the study part or module 0 module 1 module 2 the study part you can click them as done so that to remind to remind you that you have completed reading this and you have to take all these module tests you have to clear the test and after the module 5 test you can come to the part 1 summary test only when the part 1 summary test is completed then you get to the part 2 these then the other things will be opening all the uh, exams and the content of part 2 will be only opened unless until you complete the uh, part 1 summary test and once both of them are done you have to take the satisfaction survey and then the final exam also there is a summary test in part 2 as well once it is completed you get the link for activation of satisfaction survey and what once that is also completed then you come to the final test so if you are really interested in taking a global certification of c you can fill this form at uh, the discount code request form they might give you a 50 percent discount but it's up to you i don't usually prefer going for uh, global certifications of c and python though you are eligible now this is how you have to uh, complete the c particular c programming essentials uh, certification exam in netacad now if you are going to if you are done with this and if you want to go into another course you can simply come back and click on the i am learning link over here you just click on i am learning and you can go back to the your netacad page where you can see all the courses now if you want to deal with python programming simply go here click on launch course and once it is launched you can go into this is your python programming landing page or your course page once again you can see there are terms and conditions over here you have to click on terms and conditions for python also and just click it here by submitting the checkbox and click on submit 
So this is all the open EDG. And once you can see Python Essentials 1 basics, you have the modules and each module test is there. You have to complete these modules <coughs> once again, just like C programming. You have to complete the part one summary test in order to get access to part two, which is your intermediate level. Once all these things are done, once you complete each and everything, you will be given access to the satisfaction survey and then the final test. Once again, there is a code discount code request form for the uh, global certification exam. It is not mandatory. Uh, uh, it is not required. Once you are done, uh, the instructor will issue a certificate from our side. And once you complete these programs and once you complete the test, you will be able to see how uh, a particular point in your uh, NetAcad page where you can download the certificate. Okay. So this is these are how the courses are aligned. And some of the courses are called as instructor led courses where the module tests or the module group exams for these courses are scheduled by the instructor. You can only access the exams on the date is uh, scheduled or on the date specified by the instructor. You cannot simply take the exam on your own. Once you complete the particular course, you will be able to see uh, a particular uh, link where you can download the certificate. So this is how I just completed the course. And you can see that the courses that you already completed will be changed color to green and it says completed over here. It says you passed. And if you click on the get certificate link over here, you just click on it once you done the exam. It will ask you whether uh, do you want the instructor signature or on the Cisco signature. I usually prefer to go for the Cisco signature. And once you click on that, you will be able to download it. You just put it anywhere you want. Okay. And you can just do once you download it, you can open it and see. See, this is how it has been given. This is the certificate that you get. My personal suggestion for everyone is once you get these certificates and even if you, you might receive an email uh, claiming and uh, that uh, get your badge. So if you get those badges, you please direct them or post them on LinkedIn. So if there are companies looking for you uh, with specific skill set, maybe these certifications, once you link them with LinkedIn accounts, they, you might uh, have a very good opportunity for those corporates to come and identify you for those particular uh, specific requirements for a job. Okay. So this is how you get these things. Similarly, once you complete these courses also, you will be getting such links there where you can uh, just get and download the certificates. Another good thing about the Networking Academy is that you see that these particular courses are uh, evergreen and they keep on uh, changing according to the needs of the industry. Once you complete the course, these courses and these certificates will stay with you forever. And you can just go to your profile and if you click on the certificates and letters, the, the list of the courses that you completed and when did you complete and you can always get your certificate here irrespective whether you forgot uh, the pdf or you have misplaced your pdf doesn't matter the certificates are always here okay and you can see the certificate notifications badges all those things if you get any particular badge see this is your badge you can and then post this particular badge on linkedin also so this gives you better visibility to the uh, the companies who are looking for people okay so this is how you work with Cisco Networking Academy and do, do ensure that you are completing each and every course that is enrolled for you. There are many other courses. As I said earlier, I am leaving a couple of uh, links in the description where you can try some of these courses for free. I'm going to provide you the introduction to cybersecurity course and also something uh, course known as Get Connected which gives you the basics of the course. Okay, so good luck.